hi guys i hope you are doing good so i'm going to make a video about how to pass your gce exams mathematics so most people think i also used to think that mathematics is very hard okay and i thought there's no way you can actually easily pass mathematics okay um so i just want to talk about this and share a few points that i know that might be of help for you in your exams okay so um for a gce student most gce students are busy people they are adults they go for work they don't have all the time to themselves just to study and you know focus most of the time they have children they have families so it can actually be challenging to pass certain gce subjects especially mathematics so how to pass mathematics first of all the first thing you're supposed to do is before a few weeks or few a few months before your exam you are supposed to start going through your mathematics questions okay so your questions can be maybe the ones you did with your teacher or the ones you can easily download on on the internet we have a lot of past papers gce past papers online okay if you don't have the gce past papers app you might want to check it out it's free you can just download it so what you do weeks before okay or even months before or days before if you were too busy and you don't have you didn't have time to study you have to start going through your questions if you just study mathematics you study the rules you study the concepts but you don't really try to solve any questions it's going to be very hard for you so to make things easy you need to go through a lot of mathematics questions i'm saying a lot but actually you can make it very easy for yourself by in the morning you go through uh, three questions just three three questions from a certain topic okay you might find that some some if you are using a textbook some exercises for each topic might have like maybe 15 questions you don't need all that you might just need to select maybe five or three okay then you try to solve them using the rules you were taught or the rules um you might have read or if you don't even know the rules google use the internet maybe you want to solve a question let's say from what um matrices okay from a, a matrix equation or whatever you can easily check the rules online you check your google you try your first question if you if it fails you try it again if you get it right go to the next one and at least three okay then you're done you go for work you do your business blah 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 in the evening again solve from the next topic three questions okay or maybe four don't solve too many questions at the same time you'll be overwhelmed and tired okay so just choose a few questions solve them compare your answers choose questions whereby um there's at least some kind of an answer sheet somewhere where you can easily compare your answers to see if you're correct okay so do that in the morning before your day gets very very busy solve some questions then in the evening also you solve a few questions okay so that's how you do it then um if you are like a few days before your exams math gce exams okay you should not panic okay if let's say you've met some people and they're talking about this topic and you have no idea no clue about it don't panic if you feel free with them ask ask your your fellow your classmates or your colleagues okay how to do it if you are not free with them again you can use the internet or use your 
past papers if you've collected some okay so a few days before exams you hear anything new anything strange don't panic because if you allow yourself to panic you might actually forget even the easy questions the easy concepts that you already know so don't panic um and when it's the day when, when it's your okay that was an incoming call i'm sorry so when it's your day for your exams okay again you have to stay calm if you want to go through some questions some people would rather not study at all on the final day of, of exams Oops, i'm having so many calls here so on the final day of exams you have to relax if you feel okay with going through a few questions one last time that's all right you can go through a few questions one last time. Oof, i'm having so many calls but um others don't actually like to go through any questions okay so if you don't feel like going through any questions again that's all right um when i did my exams i used to go through until the last minute i'll go through <laughs> questions but still try to relax and once you start your exams once you are in the exam room you have to um continue relaxing i know it's scary but you have to relax and make sure you read instructions okay it's easy to quickly rush and miss the point but instructions are very important. Read your instructions for each question. Know what you are being asked to do and try to do your best. Okay. And the other thing is um, don't leave any question unanswered. Okay. For math, you might get a, a few points for, for, for solving something. Even if maybe the end might be wrong, you might get a few points for for a few correct steps that you might have done for a particular question. So make sure you don't leave any question unanswered, okay? And be confident in yourself. Always believe that you can do it. Once you believe you can do it, even your brain will be prepared to work hard and you're gonna make it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. To my youtube channel cj chiedza if you find this video helpful you can share with your friends and um if you think of any new ideas that i might i might not have mentioned you can add your idea in the comments below thank you so much it's cj chiedza see you next time bye bye